everyone. My name is Kelly McDade, and I am going to read you Dr. Seuss's Hooray for Diffin Do for Day. It is illustrated by Jack Perlutsky and Lane Smith, and it's a book that I enjoyed reading to my daughters when they were younger. It's a crazy little book. Let's see what you think. So, <clears throat> can't seem to get to the first page. Okay, here we go. All right. So it says, I've always lived in Dinkerville. My friends all live here too. We go to Diff and Doofer School. We're happy that we do. Our school is at the corner of Dink Zuber and Dink Zot. It looks like any other school, but we suspect it's not. I think we're learning lots of things not taught at other schools. Our teachers are remarkable. They make up their own rules. Here's the picture. Miss Bobble teaches listening. Miss Wobble teaches smelling. Miss Fribble teaches laughing and Miss Quibble teaches yelling. Miss Twining teaches tying knots in neckerchiefs and noodles and how to tell chrysanthemums from miniature poodles. Miss Vining teaches all the ways a pigeon may be pepper peppered and how to put a saddle on a lizard or a leopard. Look at all those crazy teachers. Do you guys know crazy teachers? Sometimes I think all teachers are a little bit crazy. My teacher is Miss Bonkers. She's as bouncy as a flea. I'm not certain what she teaches, but I'm glad she teaches me. Look, look, she chirps. I'll show you how to tell a cactus from a cow. And then I shall instruct you why a hippo cannot hope to fly. She even teaches frogs to dance and pigs to put on underpants. One day she taught a duck to sing. Miss Bonkers teaches everything. Of all the teachers in our school, I like Miss Bonkers best. Our teachers are all different, but she's differenter than the rest. Doesn't she look crazy? She's upside down right now. With the frog teaching, um, dancing a line there. We also have a principal. His name is Mr. Lowe. He is the very saddest man that any of us know. He mumbles, are they learning this and that and such and such? His face is wrinkled as a prune from worrying so much. He breaks a lot of pencil points from pushing down too hard, and many dogs start barking as he mopes around the yard. We think he wears false eyebrows. In fact, we're sure it's so. We've heard he takes them off at night. I guess we'll never know. Look at those eyebrows. He looks so worried. But we know he likes Miss Bonkers. He treats her like a queen. He all, he's always there to watch her when she's on her trampoline. There's Miss Bonkers' feet up in the air. <clears throat> there are many other people who make Diffendorfer, Diffendorfer run. They are utterly amazing. I love every single one. Our nurse, Miss Clot, knows what to do when we've got sniffles or the flu. One day I had a splint or so, she bandaged me from head to toe. Mr. Plunger, our custodian, has fashioned a machine. A super zooper flooper do. It keeps the whole school clean. Do you see him wrapped in all his bandages right there? Our music teacher, Mrs. Fox, makes bagpipes out of straws and socks. Our art instructor, Mr. Bees, paints pictures hanging by his knees. In science class with Mrs. Katz, we learn to build robotic rats. In gym, we watch as Mr. Bear hoists elephants into the air. Miss Loon is our librarian. She hides behind the shelves 
and often cries out louder when we're reading to ourselves. We have three cooks, all named McMunch, who merrily prepare our lunch. They make us hot dogs, beans, and fries, plus things we do not recognize. And as they cook, they sing their song, not too short and not too long. Roast and toast and slice and dice, cooking lunch is oh so nice. Look at those crazy cooks. We were eating their concoctions, telling jokes and making noise, when Mr. Lowe appeared and howled, Attention, girls and boys! He began to fuss and fidget, scratch and mutter, sneeze and cough. He shook his head so hard we thought his eyebrows would come off. He wrung his hands, he cleared his throat, he shed a single tear, then sobbed, I have something to announce, and that is why I'm here. All schools for miles and miles around must take a special test to see who's learning such and such, to see which school's the best. In our small school, if we don't do well, then it will be torn down and you will have to go to school in dreary Flobber Town. Oh, he's very, very worried. Can you see him? Oh, so concerned. Not Flobber Town, we shouted, and we shuddered at the name, for everyone in Flobber Town does everything the same. It's miserable in Flobber Town. They dress in just one style. They sing one song. They never dance. They march in single file. They do not have a playground, and they do not have a park. Their lunches have no taste at all. Their dogs are scared to bark. Ooh, look how gray it is in Flobber Town. Ooh, it's very scary. Miss Bonkers rose. Don't fret, she said. You've learned the things you need to pass that test and many more. I'm sure you'll so succeed. We've certainly taught you that the earth is round, that red and white make pink, and something else that matters more. We've taught you how to think. I hope you're right, sighed Mr. Lowe. He shed another tear. The test is in 10 minutes, and you're taking it right here. She's very confident. We sat in shock and disbelief. Oh no, we moaned. Oh no, we were even more unhappy than unhappy Mr. Lowe. But then the test was handed out. Yahoo, we yelled. Yahoo, for it was filled with all the things that we all knew we knew. There were questions about noodles, about poodles, frogs, and yelling, and listening, and laughing, and chrysanthemums, and smelling. There were questions about other things we'd never seen or heard, and yet somehow we answered them, enjoying every word. Look at all the questions, the different tests. One week later, after recess, Mr. Lowe meandered in. We'd never seen him smile before, but now he wore a grin. He soon began to giggle, then his giggle grew by half, and then it really happened. Mr. Lowe began to laugh. You've saved our school, you've saved our school, he jubilantly roared. We got the very highest score. He wrote it on the board. He looks a little silly, all smiley. Miss Bonkers did some cartwheels till her face turned cherry red. She bounded up to Mr. Lowe and kissed him on the head. Hooray, hooray, she shouted. I'm so proud I cannot speak. She did another cartwheel and she pecked him on the cheek. Ahem, <coughs> coughed Mr. Lowe. You all deserve a bow. I thus declare a holiday. It starts exactly now. Because you've done so splendidly in every sort of way, this day forever shall be known as Diff and Doofer Day. And furthermore, I promise I won't ever wear a frown. For now I know we'll never go to dreary Flobber Town. Then we held a celebration. There was pizza, milk, and cake. Like everyone, I ate too much and got a bellyache. We laughed and whooped and hollered the entire school day long. Then we all sang triumphantly the Diff and Duper song. I realize I didn't show you the picture. 
of the smooch of Miss Bonker and Mr. Lowe. And here's all the celebrating going on, having so much fun. We love you, Diff and Do for school. We definitely do. There surely is no other school that's anything like you. You're gribulous, you're grobulous. Each day we love you more. You are the school we treasure and unceasingly adore. Oh, finest school in Dinkerville, the one, only one as well. We love you, Diff and Do for school, much more than we can tell. You are so diff and do for us, it gives us joy to say three cheers for diff and do for school. Hooray, hooray, hooray. I hope you've enjoyed this book. Again, it's one of our favorites here in our household. I am a teacher, although I teach at Bipsy Community College, and um, right now I just want to say I hope all your teachers are treating you well. All right, have a great day. It's been fun reading to you. Bye-bye.